Congressman and head of the House intelligence community, Mike Turner, has been busy recently making a trip to Ukraine last week. On that trip, he called U.S. support for aid to Ukraine overwhelming. The Congressman and Community and Security Chair, Intelligence Chair, joins us live in the studio. Brooke is talking to him about those recent events. Brooke. Yeah, Congressman Mike Turner joining us live now in the studio. Thank you for taking the time. Thanks for having me. Yeah, to be here for five on two. So we'll start with your recent trip to Ukraine. Let's talk about what you saw there. And I think what many people want to know, why do you believe that it's still vital at this point for the U.S. to stay in this fight with Ukraine? All right, well, Vladimir Putin has made it very clear that his sights are not just on Ukraine, uh, that they're on even, you know, good portions of Eastern Europe, which of course are in NATO, for which we have a, a military pact. And this is a battle between authoritarianism and democracy. When President Xi of China went to Putin, he said, we're working together to make change that has not happened in 100 years. Well, 100 years ago was World War I and World War II. And that was a battle between authoritarianism and democracy. And that's what China and Russia are attempting to do, is to remake the world. Um, we're trying to, of course, to support democracy. Uh, the Ukrainians have the will to fight. They're going to fight for their country. They push the Russians nearly to the border. Um, and that, um, that zest, uh, as President Zelensky says, of the front lines of democracy, I think is very important. A lot of people here, I mean, we're not seeing it firsthand, <coughs> obviously, but all they're seeing are the dollar amounts that are being sent over there for this. Uh, given the strong military hub here in the Miami Valley, is this impacting us locally at all? Well, it's certainly, <clears throat> wright Patterson Air Force Base is, is involved to uh, in, an extent that any time we're involved in military actions. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the, the real issue here is that um, you know, as, as a nation, as we you know, try to make certain that authoritarian nations don't impose their will a, a, across the world, we're really protecting our own democracy, and that's what's so important about this. All right, let's uh, move on because I know we only have a limited number of time here. Let's talk about the recent leak of the classified documents from the Department of Defense. What does your team know about this? All right, well, I received a briefing from the Director of National Intelligence, and certainly this is very serious. But at the same time, as, you, as the report before us was saying, um, these documents are, are a static uh, snapshot in a period of time. So they don't necessarily apply to next week or the next month. Um, they certainly would provide some information to Russia that we wouldn't want necessarily public or in their hands. But at the same time, that we still have the ability with flexibility and being dynamic, versatile with Ukraine uh, for them to change their plans and to change some of the, the issues that these uh, documents reflect as vulnerabilities. And that's one side of it, but also in terms of how this leak happened and maybe preventing that from ever happening again, where does the investigation stand into that? Right, so this investigation is, is a result of documents that were leaked from the Department of Defense, and they've turned the investigation over to the Department of Justice. Uh, clearly, these are documents that have been leaked at the highest of, of levels, and so that's why it's so concerning, because they, in addition to the fact of the source of these documents, um, they have to be concerned of are there other documents out there that we're not seeing that have not been released to the public, and how do we stop this so that we don't have future documents that are released? All right, unfortunately, that is our time here. Congressman Mike Turner, head of the House Intelligence Community and representative of Ohio's 10th District, as always, we appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you.